Hi, I'm Miss Dana and I'm with Artsphere Inc. Today we're going to learn how to create a watercolor resist koi fish pond. Koi fish are a type of carp that are usually seen in outdoor koi ponds, water gardens, or in large tanks. Koi varieties are distinguished by coloration, patterning, and scales. The koi fish is symbolic in Japanese culture and is closely associated with the country's national identity. The koi fish is a symbol of luck, prosperity, and good fortune in Japan. Today we're going to create a watercolor resist koi fish pond. You're going to need paper, a pencil, black and green crayons, watercolor paints, and salt. Our perspective is from above, like we were looking down into a koi fish pond. I'm going to draw two koi fish. I'm first going to shape their bodies like a yin yang. It's also similar to a paisley or a long teardrop shape. Now I'm going to draw two flowy back fins at the pointed part of the shape. We need two flowy side fins. Just think of them as leaf shapes or soft wiggly triangles. I'm going to draw two black circles or ovals for the eyes, a thin flowy dorsal fin on top, and two whiskers, or otherwise known as barbels in the front. Did you know these barbels help the koi fish taste debris without actually eating it? Pretty helpful so they don't eat something they weren't supposed to. Now let's add some lily pads to our pond. I only have room for four, and I'm just going to show pieces of them floating around in our scene. Now it's time to start the wax resist portion of our watercolor resist. Trace your entire fish with black crayon. Press firmly so the color is dark. The crayon will create a wax barrier for our paint later. I'm just going to use my crayon to add some lines in each of the fins to give my fish a little more detail. Next, I'm going to trace all of my lily pads with a green crayon. Remember to press firmly and draw a thick, solid line. Get your watercolor paints ready. Koi fish can be an array of different colors, but you'll most likely see them in the warm colors, like yellow, orange, or red, with some black and white. Try to paint splotches of color, or wiggle your brush for a more realistic koi fish pattern. There's really no right or wrong way to paint a koi fish, just let the splotches happen. But if your paper gets too wet, you can always use a paper towel to lift up the puddle. Let's move on to the lily pads. You can paint them all green, or you can paint yellow first and mix green on top to create a lighter green. Time for the fun part. Grab some table salt. You can pour a little into a small bowl like I have, or use a shaker, whichever is easier. I'm going to paint the space around the koi fish with blue and purple watercolor. Paint small sections at a time and sprinkle some salt on the spot you just painted. Keep moving your brush around the paper. Try not to paint over where you just sprinkled salt, or it won't soak up the paint as well as it could. Take your time painting around your koi fish. Paint a small section, sprinkle some salt, paint another section, and sprinkle more salt. The wax crayon has created a small barrier so the paint won't seep into your koi fish too much but it's always good to have a paper towel handy, just in case. Remember, your watercolor paint must be wet for the salt to work. So that's why we're painting in small sections. You can't just paint the entire piece and then sprinkle the salt, because most of your painting will have been dried by then. 
After you're finished painting your koi fish pond, let it dry completely. Once dry, carefully brush off all the salt into a trash can to reveal all the speckles and splotches the salt created in the water. Now it's time to sit back and relax and enjoy your low maintenance, warm and cool color, watercolor resist koi fish pond. Don't forget to share your art with ArtSphere for a chance to be featured on social media and our online art show.